What's up guys, John Baker here. I'm a senior bio major over at St. Joseph's College and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about our local field ecology trip that we went on. So first off we have to start with an ecosystem. So what is an ecosystem? We've got the abiotic and the biotic factors, the interactions between both of those and the interactions between the biotic factors. One of those abiotic factors would be temperature. So in this case, we're talking about uh, African savanna. It's very sunny, creates a hot temperature consistent in the 83 to 93 degree range all throughout the year. So a hot temperature allows for grass to grow. That's a biotic factor. With grass growing, you can have zebras grazing. With the tall grass, you can have lions hiding. When you've got lions hiding and zebras grazing, you've got the lions eating the zebras. Now eventually, they're gonna have to use the bathroom. They're gonna defecate. In science, we call that nutrient recycling, very important. Now the grass have a chance to grow again and the cycle continues. So what did we do? We went to Marich's Bay. It looks like this, beautiful. Now over at the shoreline, you can see that it's a bit rocky, but down in the benthos, which is the sand layer, the silt layer below the water, it's very dark silt, as you can see. So how do we get our measurements? We used a water quality meter, which gave us these measurements. We see that the water temperature was 27.3 degrees Celsius, dissolved oxygen was 9 milligrams per liter, and the air temperature was 27.8 degrees Celsius. So pretty temperate, granted it also was summer. And then we used indicator solutions, and we found that the ammonia content was about 0 parts per million. The pH was about 8.4, as you can see and the nitrates were right around zero parts per million as well. So it's good healthy water. So how do we get the fish? We use a technique called seining, where you take one of these big nets and you drag it along the benthos and as it goes it scoops along anything it may found, which is in the pelagic layer, which is the water column itself. This is one of the benthic ones. This is the spider crab that we found. Striped killifish, this one happens to be a female, this one's pelagic. It's female because the stripes are vertical. A blue crab, and this one was very mean, as you can see, it's grabbing two Atlantic silver sides. Codium, which is also known as dead man's fingers, for macroalgae. Northern kingfish, as you can see the barb here, that's how you tell it's a kingfish. Atlantic silver sides. Next we went over to Smith's Point, and we went digging using quadrants, because we're scientists, that were spread in groups a hundred feet apart to find sand crabs. And what did we find? We found that they were dispersed where there were more sand crabs farther away from the beach hut that you went. This one happens to be a female, because as you can see it's got the little bristles along the tail. Um, and it's very important. They are also bigger than the males are. And we did find a lot of these sand crabs. Uh, so that's about it. That's going to wrap up the video. Um, we'll catch you next time talking about a different module and this has been John Baker with Marine Ecosystems. Catch you later.